universe is fake. We all are just a part of code. These things sound very unreal, but it can actually be a possibility. In this video we are gonna discuss some of the craziest and mind-boggling theories so keep watching this video. Now first let's talk about a theory that says. Could our universe be a membrane floating in higher dimensional space, repeatedly smashing into a neighboring universe? According to an offshoot of string theory called Brainworld, there are large extra dimensions of space, and while gravity can reach out into them, we are confined to our own brain universe with only three dimensions. Neil Turok of Cambridge University in the UK and Paul Steinhardt of Princeton University in New Jersey, US, have worked out how the Big Bang could have been sparked when our universe clashed violently with another. These clashes repeat, producing a new Big Bang every now and then, so if the cyclic universe model is right, the cosmos could be immortal. Now here's a spooky thing, it's about the cosmic ghosts. Three mysteries of modern cosmology could be wrapped up in one ghostly presence. After making an adjustment to Einstein's general theory of relativity, a team of physicists found a strange substance popping out of their new theory, the ghost condensate. It can produce repulsive gravity to drive cosmic inflation in the Big Bang, while later on it could generate the more sedate acceleration that is ascribed to dark energy. Moreover, if this slippery substance clumps together, it could form dark matter. Hey! So before going ahead please subscribe to our channel because it takes just a second for you but it matters a lot for us. And now here is the most awaited thing, the simulation theory. What if we're all just part of a massive simulation? That's the basis of Nick Bostrom's 2003 theory that suggests everything we see is simply part of a programmed simulation, and we're all playing the parts of seemingly self-aware code. At first glance, this theory seems more than a little out there, how could we possibly know that we're simply simulations? However, some anecdotal evidence does point in this direction. First is the fact that, as technology evolves, we're inching ever closer to creating our own simulated universes that could contain programs that are self-aware. If we can do it, it stands to reason that beings in another universe above ours could do the same thing, and we're simply living in their simulation. Other possible indicators of virtual environments are the existence of hard and fast limits, such as the speed of light, which could suggest arbitrarily pre-programmed limits that either protect the simulated universe from collapsing or make it impossible for us to discover the truth. In the far future, galaxies will eventually drift so far apart that light from one can never reach another. In fact, as stars get old and die, a time will come when there's no light, or heat, left. The universe will be a dark, cold, empty void. It sounds like the end of everything, but according to one theory, it's actually the beginning of the next universe in an endlessly repeating cycle. Remember the brain world theory? This is what happens when one cold, empty brain collides with another, which, given enough time, it's bound to do eventually. Cosmologists Neil Turok and Paul Steinhardt believe such a collision would generate enough energy to create a whole new universe. They call this the ekpyrotic theory, though physicist Michio Kaku has more evocatively dubbed it the Big Splat. Okay. Now this is the craziest things, that black hole can create a whole new universe. When matter is compressed to extreme densities at the center of a black hole, it might bounce back and create a new baby universe. The laws of physics in the offspring might differ slightly, and at random, from the parent, so universes might evolve, suggests Lee Smolin of the Perimeter Institute in Waterloo, Canada. Universes that make a lot of black holes have a lot of children, so eventually they come to dominate the population of the multiverse. If we live in a typical universe, then it ought to have physical laws and constants that optimize the production of black holes. It is not yet known whether our universe fits the bill. This was Al for today's video, don't forget to share this knowledge like this video, 
comment something and finally please subscribe.